Okay, it's Christoph from retainwithemails.com and today we're gonna record another episode of live email design. So it's gonna be for a brand called Chomps and they're selling these mid stick. So without further ado, yeah, let's get right into it. I have all their assets as I detailed in the last video. So colors, images, SVG from their website and their logo and copy font. So I'm gonna start with their logo. I'm gonna pull it from here and make it so that it's inside of the blank frame in which we're gonna do the design. So I'm adjusting it right now and then pulling the rectangle tool that we're gonna put behind the logo so it pops out more. Now the rectangle, I'm gonna make it uh, the red that they have from their website always use elements from their website because it makes their experience from the customer inbox to the website to the checkout page more consistent and it converts better so that's uh, a little parenthesis and you're gonna adjust it horizontally and vertically so it, it is really centered everywhere so that's what you do next we're gonna paste their logo, not their logo, sorry, their copy font inside of the email and make it red again. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste these information right here because I don't wanna type. So control C, control V. Then we're gonna pull this asset inside of the email to emphasize on the title. It's just a little element of design and the more stuff that you have like that, generally the better the design is or the the more non-empty it is right because you don't want to have blank space everywhere everywhere all the time so add some elements like this it can make your design better and now i'm going to pull the the copy so duplicate it inside of the email again if you didn't center align everything center align everything now I'm gonna make it black and again, copy and paste everything. Okay, now I'm gonna attack the other section, their product section. So I'm gonna duplicate this bit here, zoom in, and make it rotate so that the meat stick is held up straight. Now I'm gonna lock it so that I don't select it accidentally. Let me move my head. And yeah, that layer is locked. As you can see, if I try and select it, it won't. So now we can work on the port that is placed next to it pretty normally and without any hassle. I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, original beef here. And normally you should have, um, copied and paste uh, bigger. It was originally like this, that size, but if you wanna play around with the size, you just go here and you make it smaller. Okay, now it should do. I'm just un gonna unlock it for a second. This layer, this hero section, or this image I should say, just so that I can move it a bit to the left. Now I'm gonna lock it again and tackle the next a bit. Now spicy level, I'm just gonna go ahead and select just this and um, duplicate it here. I don't wanna spend too much time on text because we already cover, covered it in uh, detail. So I'm gonna duplicate it and here you go. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and attack the, the fire bit. So sorry I'm gonna backtrack duplicate and focus on doing that section with the three fires one's hot and the other kind of with that light orange so select the fire duplicate it twice one two select all of them make it a group and shrink it you're gonna put it here let me zoom shrink it a bit more and then adjust spacing. You can do that right here. And here you go. 
So now we're gonna select the first one and the, the sorry, the second one and the third one, and we're gonna make the color a light orange one as opposed to this one. And same stuff for the star. We're gonna duplicate it four times, one, two, three, four, make it make it a group, and yeah, align everything horizontally like that. So scale it down, put it here. I'm gonna scale it even more actually, and then adjust the spacing between every element. That should do. And then uh, actually even more. Uh, yeah, that should be all right. So I'm gonna align everything just so it looks coherent now, but we still have to add the button here, this one. And to do that, we're gonna duplicate, duplicate this here, sorry. So we're duplicating it. Chomp on the occasion, this is a copy. Chomp on the occasion. Yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna make it white and shrink it. That should do. Now you make it a group, add some padding, adjust it to where you roughly know it's gonna look good, and then add a fill. And now, why doesn't it look similar? You have to play around and find out. So you reduce the horizontal padding and Actually, let me just edit this for a second occasion. Okay. And now you increase the corner radius. That should um, do the job. And now add a bit of vertical padding here. So now it looks quite similar. They look pretty much the same. And I'm not gonna bother too much making them like a, a pixel perfect representation. As you can see, it is the same section. You can shrink this a bit because I think it's too big. It should do. And now here you have it. Okay, so now this looks pretty much uh, all right. This is good. We have something that looks very good already. So now that you've done above the fold, we're gonna focus on below the fold, this portion basically, and do the rest of the email. So you're gonna use the pen tool, you press P, or you go to here, pen, and it's gonna make this um, show up. So it's gonna look weird if you've never used it, but don't worry, trust the process, and try and learn that tool, because it opens many doors. Now, you're gonna delete the stroke and put the fill as red, so this color, and this is sharp. So we're gonna use this tool, the Bezier curve, press here, and then go here. You're gonna smooth out these edges. And now it's just a matter of like increasing the thing here and making that kind of thing, right? And let me actually make it go down a bit, and this is good. Now we have something that look quite the same. Now you put the rectangle tool, and you fill the rest of the frame. Make it red, and lock these two layers so that they don't bother you and you don't mistakenly select them. Now you take these title, you put it to the uh, foreground, make it white, and copy and paste the text here. You can edit it yourself, but me, I'm just copying and pasting it just to go faster. Center, align it, move it up, and then what's next? This, I don't have them as assets right here. I forgot to copy and paste them but I'm gonna go ahead and do it directly from here. So copy in this here. Let me move my head so I don't 
I'm not in the way. But this you paste here, taking a, a, a bit of time, but no worries. And then copying the last one. Then you make it a group so that it's evenly distanced. And then you grab the text here, you lower it, make it smaller. And then I'm gonna make the same text for all of them, low corb. Here you go. This, lock, lock this because it otherwise it's gonna move. Then this, you put it right there for this one, this for this one. I'm actually, let me make this a tad bigger and then duplicate it for all three. If you were like doing this actually, like make sure it's evenly distanced, like the text from the logo, the text from the logo and the text from the logo, because you, you want it to look very tight and well measured. Now you select all, all of it. So make it a group and then center align. And if you think that there's not enough padding right there, you just zoom in and scale. Right, so now it looks better. You can scale it up. And here we go, I think that's look, that looks good like that. Now, this is just text. I'm not gonna go over that, it's just like playing around this, with the size, etc. So I'm just gonna select the two and just duplicate it here. And now we're gonna do that review section. So we're gonna pull out a rectangle, so press OR, and here you go. So now you center align it, and you make sure the fill has the same color as the other one. Add a stroke, lengthen it a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what's happening. Let's make it a three, center, so it looks better. And then change the color of the stroke. So right now you wanna make it red and round the corners with that tool right here. So make it rounder. And then it's, it's basically a matter of getting that overlay effect. So it's gonna be two rectangle, one in front, and the other is gonna show up behind like that. It's, it, you gotta play with layers a little bit. So you're gonna duplicate this one and make it go to the background. And here, maybe you need to just move it up a little bit. All right, here you go. So now you're gonna select the two, or actually just the first one. It's already center aligned. And here you have the same effect. Now you can adjust the other one until it looks good. 15 on one side, 13 on the other. We're gonna make 15 on both. Here you go. Now, you lock this layer. You're gonna make it group and then you lock it so that we can select it carefree. And then duplicate the copy. I don't wanna spend too much time on just copy because we already talked a lot about uh, text and stuff like that. Now you center align it, move it up. I'm gonna unlock the thing because I want the, the rectangles to be bigger. And I'm locking it again. So now you're pulling the text. You move it down. and move it to the foreground. Now, change the color, make it red, and make it smaller. So here you have it small, and we're gonna copy and paste the copy from here. So Command C, Command V. Here we have it. Now we're gonna grab the five stores from Above, zoom in, make it go to the foreground, lower it a little bit, and then scale it down. 
here we go. So we have that nice review section. You can play around just so it looks kind of one to one to have both that title and these five stars really showing up at the top of that review section. And now it's just gonna be the button. I'm gonna copy this one and drag it to the bottom, make it go to the foreground. And it's just gonna be a matter of adding a stroke. So stroke section, make it wider, center, and make it go from black to this color right here. Here you go, we're done with this design. If you want me to continue ahead and keep doing that live email design series, I'm thinking about doing some episode three, four, five, etc. and keep pushing that series because you guys seem to enjoy it. So if you want me to continue, like and subscribe to this channel, let me know in the comments. And if you have some other video idea about like how to increase your open rate, how to implement this specific email inside of Clayview, how to boost your click through rate, how to make anything with email marketing and Clayview especially, let me know in the comments, like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Cheers.